Hello and welcome back to Smash List. Are you ready to dive into worlds of intrigue, laughter, mystery, and drama? Today we're bringing you the ultimate list of top 50 must-watch TV series. Whether you're a fan of heart-pounding thrillers, laugh-out-loud comedies, or stories that tug at your heartstrings, our carefully curated list has something for everyone. But before we jump in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated with all our weekly top lists. And now, without further ado, let's kick off our journey. At number 50, we have South Park, an animated series known for its dark, satirical humor and its focus on current events. Set in the fictional Colorado town of South Park, it revolves around four boys and their bizarre and often outrageous adventures. At number 49, we have Brooklyn Nine-Nine, a comedic take on a New York City police precinct, blending humor with police procedural elements. Brooklyn Nine-Nine tackles various social issues and consistently highlights themes of friendship and teamwork. At number 48, we have Chernobyl, a historical drama miniseries depicting the Chernobyl nuclear disaster and the cleanup efforts. It focuses on the stories of the people who were involved in the disaster and its aftermath. At number 47, we have Downton Abbey, a British historical drama set in the early 20th century, focusing on the aristocratic Crawley family and their servants. The series explores the societal changes of the time and how they affect the family and the British social hierarchy. Coming in at number 46, it's Orange is the New Black, a comedy drama series set in a women's prison. It explores the lives of the inmates at Litchfield Penitentiary, each with her own unique story and background. The series delves into various issues such as race, sexuality, gender, and the criminal justice system. At number 45, we have Grey's Anatomy. This is a medical drama series focusing on the personal and professional lives of surgical interns and their mentors. The series is well known for its ensemble cast, featuring a diverse group of characters whose stories interweave through their connections with the hospital. At number 44, we have Doctor Who, the new version of the British science fiction series about a time-traveling alien known as the Doctor. It covers various genres and features the Doctor combating different enemies and solving problems while advocating for justice, kindness, and peace. At number 43, we have The Haunting of Hill House, this horror series, based on the 1959 novel, follows the Crane family, alternating between past and present, and showcases their terrifying experiences at Hill House and the lingering impact it has on their lives. At number 42, we have Narcos. The series tells the true-life stories of the growth and spread of cocaine, drug lords as Pablo Escobar and other cartels across the globe, and the law enforcement efforts to take them down. Coming in at number 41 is The Americans. This spy thriller series is set during the Cold War, focusing on two Soviet KGB officers posing as an American couple. Their espionage activities escalates the tensions between USSR and USA. At number 40, we have Homeland, also a spy thriller series centered on a bipolar CIA operative and her confrontations with terrorism. The show is known for its psychological intensity, intricate plot lines, and its exploration of modern warfare, terrorism, and espionage. At number 39, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a young woman chosen to battle against vampires, demons, and other supernatural foes, often with the help of her friends. The show is known for its blend of horror, comedy, and drama and exploration of complex themes. At number 38, we have The West Wing, it's set in the West Wing of the White House and follows the lives of the fictional Presidential Administration staff. The show is known for its fast-paced dialogue, complex characters, and detailed portrayal of the U.S. political system. At number 37, we have Better Call Saul. The show focuses on the character Jimmy McGill, an earnest lawyer and former con artist who transforms into the morally challenged lawyer Saul Goodman. At number 36, we have Bojack Horseman. This is an adult animated tragicomedy series that follows Bojack, a washed-up actor who is also a horse, as he struggles with fame, addiction, and self-identity in a world where humans and anthropomorphic animals coexist. Coming in at number 35 is Ozark. This series follows financial planner Marty Bird, who, after a money laundering scheme goes wrong, is forced to relocate his family to the Ozarks and set up a bigger laundering operation for a Mexican drug cartel. At number 34, we have The Office UK. This British sitcom is set in the offices of a fictional paper company and focuses on the day-to-day -day workings of this mundane work environment led by the delusional and often inappropriate office manager, David Brent. At number 33, we have The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. The series follows a housewife in the late 1950s and early 1960s New York City who discovers her knack for stand-up comedy. 
The show is known for its witty dialogue, vibrant portrayal of the era, and the lead character's spirited journey in a male-dominated field. At number 32, we have Rick and Morty. This animated series follows the mad scientist Rick and his grandson Morty who split their time between domestic life and interdimensional adventures. The show is known for its irreverent humor, creative storytelling, and satirical take on science fiction tropes. Coming in at number 31 is Fleabag. The series follows the life of a young, dry-witted, sexually active, angry, and confused woman in London. Known for breaking the fourth wall, Fleabag is acclaimed for its sharp, dark humor and deeply personal storytelling. At number 30, we have The X-Files. The series follows two FBI agents as they investigate unsolved and often unexplainable cases involving paranormal phenomena. The series is known for its mix of mythology, conspiracy theories, and Monster of the Week episodes. At number 29, we have The Walking Dead. The series follows a group of survivors in a world overrun by zombies known as walkers. The show is noted for its focus on the human and emotional aspects of surviving in a post-apocalyptic world, as well as its intense and often graphic depictions of zombie violence. At number 28, we have Seinfeld. The show is often described as a show about nothing, but it revolves around the everyday lives of Jerry Seinfeld and his eccentric group of friends in New York City. The show is renowned for its unique humor, iconic characters, and its influence on American comedy. At number 27, we have The Mandalorian. A space western series part of the Star Wars franchise follows a lone bounty hunter known as The Mandalorian, and he's missions in the outer reaches of the galaxy. Coming in at number 26 is Succession. This series it follows the Roy family, dysfunctional owners of a global media and entertainment empire as they vie for control of the company amid uncertainty about the health of the family's patriarch, Logan Roy. We are halfway through. If you're enjoying our journey through these must-watch TV series, why not become a part of our community? Just hit that subscribe button below and join us for more smashing lists like this one. We've got plenty more content lined up that you won't want to miss. All right, ready to dive back in because we've still got some groundbreaking shows to cover, including a few that have redefined television as we know it. Let's continue with our countdown. Coming up next is number 25, True Detective. This American anthology crime drama starts each season featuring a new cast and a separate narrative, exploring complex mysteries, intense character studies, and the darker aspects of human nature. At number 24, we have The Big Bang Theory. This sitcom is centered around a group of socially awkward scientists and their interactions with each other and the world around them, blending intellectual humor with relationship dynamics. The show is known for its witty dialogue and unique characters. At number 23, we have Lost. This series follows the survivors of a plane crash stranded on a mysterious island, blending elements of supernatural and science fiction with character-driven storylines. The show is known for its complex plot and numerous plot twists. At number 22, we have Arrested Development. It follows the Bluths, a once wealthy, dysfunctional family dealing with the aftermath of the Patriarch's imprisonment. The show is known for its layered comedy, ensemble cast, and innovative use of narration and flashbacks. Coming in at number 21 is Parks and Recreation. This mockumentary-style sitcom follows the everyday lives of the employees of the Parks and Recreation Department of Pawnee, Indiana. The series is known for its unique humor, memorable characters, and positive portrayal of government work. At number 20, we have Twin Peaks. A mystery horror drama series follows an investigation into the murder of a high school girl in the quirky town of Twin Peaks, blending surrealism, offbeat humor, and supernatural elements. At number 19, we have Dexter. It centers on a forensic blood spatter analyst for the Miami Police Department who leads a secret life as a vigilante serial killer, targeting other murderers who have slipped through the justice system. The show is known for its moral ambiguity and psychological depth. At number 18, we have House of Cards. The series follows Frank Underwood, an ambitious congressman, and his wife, Claire, as they navigate and manipulate their way to the top of American politics. The show is known for its dark portrayal of the pursuit of power. At number 17, we have Sherlock. It is a contemporary adaptation of Sherlock Holmes' detective stories. The series is acclaimed for its modern take on classic stories and strong acting performances. It's been produced as a fun, smart, and entertaining drama. 
At number 16, we have Band of Brothers. This war drama dramatizes the history of a parachute infantry from their jump training in the U.S. through their participation in major actions in Europe up until Japan's capitulation and the war's end. The series is known for its realistic portrayal of World War II and deep character development. Coming in at number 15 is Handmaid's Tale. This series depicts a totalitarian society where fertile women, known as handmaids, are forced into childbearing servitude. The series is noted for its powerful themes and its critique of social and political issues. At number 14, we have Black Mirror. The series explores dark and satirical themes that examine modern society, particularly with regard to the unanticipated consequences of new technologies. Each standalone episode is a sharp, suspenseful tale exploring themes of techno-paranoia. At number 13, we have Westworld. This series is set in a futuristic theme park populated by artificial beings, where guests can live out their wildest fantasies. The series is known for its complex narratives, philosophical themes, and commentary on artificial intelligence and human nature. At number 12, we have The Simpsons. This animated sitcom portrays the life of the Simpson family in the fictional town of Springfield, satirizing American culture and society. The show is known for its iconic characters, clever humor, and has become one of the longest-running and most influential sitcoms in television history. Coming in at number 11 is Fargo. Inspired by the 1996 film of the same name, each season features new characters and storylines, all involving crime, morality, and a mix of humor and violence, predominantly set in the upper Midwest. The series is known for its complex plots, quirky characters, and dark humor. At number 10, we have Peaky Blinders, a British crime drama set in post-World War I in Birmingham. Returning soldiers, newly minted revolutions, and criminal gangs are fighting for survival in a nation rocked by economic upheaval. The show is centered on the gang Peaky Blinders, run by returning war hero Thomas Shelby. At number 9, we have The Office U.S., adapted from the U.K. series of the same name. It's set at a paper company, where the series depicts the everyday work lives of office employees, led by the bumbling manager Michael Scott. Renowned for its unique humor, memorable characters, and relatable depiction of office life, the show has become a staple of American pop culture. At number 8, we have Mad Men, an American drama series about one of New York's most prestigious ad agencies at the beginning of the 1960s, focusing on the firm's mysterious but extremely talented ad executive, Don Draper. It's known for its stylish depiction of the era, complex characters, and critical exploration of social norms of the time. Coming in at number 7 is The Crown, a historical drama about the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. It covers her life from her wedding in 1947 through the early 21st century, exploring both personal and political aspects of the British monarchy. The series is notable for its detailed historical accuracy and strong performances, particularly by actors portraying the Queen at different stages of her life. At number six, we have Stranger Things. It's set in the 1980s and revolves around mysterious events in the small town of Hawkins, Indiana, particularly the appearance of a girl with psychokinetic abilities and the disappearance of a young boy. The show combines supernatural elements with government conspiracies and nostalgic references to 1980s pop culture. The series has gained a massive following and critical acclaim for its writing, acting, and atmosphere. At number five, we have The Wire. It's set in Baltimore, Maryland, and presents a detailed and realistic exploration of urban life. The series is known for its deep exploration of socio-political themes, including the drug trade, the port system, the city government and bureaucracy, education, and the media. The Wire uses a large ensemble cast and is recognized for its realistic portrayal of society and politics, and its unique narrative style that eschews conventional TV drama formats. Coming in at number four, we have Friends a sitcom about a group of friends living in Manhattan dealing with their personal and professional lives. It's celebrated for its witty humor and memorable characters. Friends became a cultural phenomenon and remains popular worldwide, known for its influence on pop culture and its enduring appeal across generations. The strong third place goes to The Sopranos. It focuses on mob boss Tony Soprano and his struggles to manage his family life with running a criminal organization. Set in New Jersey, the show is known for its complex characters, psychological depth, and realistic portrayal of the Mafia. 
The Sopranos is widely regarded as one of the greatest television series of all time, lauded for its writing, acting, and influence on subsequent TV dramas. The runner-up goes to Game of Thrones. The series is set in the fictional continents of Westeros and Essos and follows several noble families vying for control of the Iron Throne and the Seven Kingdoms. Known for its complex characters, intricate political plots, and graphic content, Game of Thrones was acclaimed for its production values and storytelling, though its final season received mixed reviews. It became a cultural phenomenon and won numerous awards, making it one of the most popular TV series of all time. And finally, our number one spot goes to Breaking Bad, a crime drama about a high school chemistry teacher who becomes a methamphetamine manufacturing drug dealer after being diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. The show follows his transformation from a meek teacher to a major player in the criminal underworld alongside his former student. Acclaimed for its writing, acting, and character development, Breaking Bad is one of the greatest television series of all time and number one on our list. And there you have it, folks. Our journey through the top 50 TV series comes to an end. From the groundbreaking dramas to the laugh-out-loud comedies, these shows have not only entertained us, but also shaped the landscape of television as we know it. Did your favorite make the list? Is there a series you think we missed? Remember, the world of TV is vast and ever-evolving, and what resonates with one may differ for another. So jump into the comments below and share your personal top TV series. We'd love to hear from you. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a new smashing top list. Until next time, keep exploring and continue your Bing watching. This is Smash List.